India quietly signed two contracts worth $1.4 BN with Israel Aerospace Industries for the purchase of two additional Falcon Hill 76 Airborne Early Warning and Control Systems AWACS valued at $1 billion and 10 Heron TP unmanned air vehicles. UAVs during the recent visit of Israeli President Reuven Rivil to India. The contracts were signed in New Delhi on 16 November in the presence of Brig. Gen. RETD, Michel Ben Barak, Director, SIVAT, Israel Ministry of Defense and Indian Defense Secretary G. Mohan Kumar. An Indian Air Force IAF official said the purchase of two AWACS has been pending for the past five years and the deliveries should be made within the next two to three years. Falcon AWACS are tremendous force multipliers and we are having an excellent experience with them, the official added. A $400 million contract for the purchase of 10 weaponized Heron TPU AVs was also signed with II. Deliveries to the IF are expected to be completed over the next three years. According to the IF official, the Indian Heron TPs will have very sophisticated communication and intelligence systems, detection finders, signal parameters and emitter classification and geolocation capabilities. In addition to electronic surveillance measure for long-range automatic detection and identification of emitting targets, the official added that Indian Heron TPs will be capable of launching guided munitions and lightweight tactical missiles. Currently the three Indian Defence Forces operate around 60 Heron UAVs but it is not known whether they are weaponized or not. The three Indian Defence Forces have a joint requirement of over 200 weaponized UAVs in the next 10 years. IAI has also given a proposal to India's Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, to jointly develop an advanced version of Heron UAV in India. However, the ruling National Democratic Alliance government wants all future UAV requirements to be met through the Make in India initiative. Israeli searcher Mark Chapter 1 and 2, Heron and HEOP UAVs are currently used by Indian Defence Forces.